Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monet, better known as Miss Creative Diva. For those who do not know, I'd like to welcome everybody back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, go ahead and take a moment. Go ahead and subscribe, like this video. Um, today, look, I wanted to do something that was sexy, something that was sultry. I love the way this came out. It's super affordable. For those of you who have Morphe palettes, you guys can kind of follow along. Yeah, let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. Oh, let's go, girl. So I'm going to start by applying my base um, and so for my concealer I am using the Derma Blend Cover Cream and then I'm going to go in with my foundation. Now, I've already prepped my face. I am using the Morphe foundation. I think it's in the shade 41110. I think that's it. I will put it in the video or down below for you guys as well as give you guys a link. Definitely check out my um it was kind of like a demo type of review type video um, when I first tried the foundation out and the concealer. So definitely check that out if you have not. And you'll definitely get the correct color if you are close to my skin shade. So I'm just taking my brush and buffing that in. I love a good big ass brush. I mean, I love a good big brush because it just allows me not to take so much time with applying my foundation. And so I'm just gonna buff all that in and then we are going to go in with the highlight and the contour. And so I'm gonna go in to contour. I'm using my e.l.f. concealer. Now I know I sent a Morphe um, tutorial, but I didn't have no other contour color um, other than any other brands. And so I just chose and kind of grabbed what I had right in front of me. But for the concealer, I am gonna use the Morphe concealers. For the concealers, I'm going to go ahead in with the C425 and then also the C325. The C3.2, was it C? Hold on. I think 3.25. I'm sorry. For that lighter shade, I am using that um, more so at the beginning portion of the eyes just to kind of brighten it up. Um, so it just kind of depends on what you're looking for. Now, if you have bags and stuff like that, you do want to make sure you are correcting first um, using a natural shade and mixing it. Um, otherwise, you will make whatever imperfections you have pop even more. And so that's why you'll notice where my scar is. A lot of the times I try not to put a lighter shade of concealer. Um, and then I also try to blend it out with a more natural shade on my foundation. And I'm just taking my beauty blender and making sure it's a press into the skin, make sure everything is nicely blended. Um, I then went in and added just a little bit more foundation to the face just to give me that extra full coverage look that I'm going for. You don't have to do this, you definitely can skip the step. Next I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. And so I'm taking my damp beauty blender and I am using my Laura Mercier in translucent powder. And then I also go in with a um, second powder as well. Um, next, I'm going to go in with my brows. Um, for my brows, I am taking the um, Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics pencils, and I'm using those today. 
um i have been going for like a lighter look so i'm think i'm taking like a brunette or something like that mixing it with like an ebony or something i think those are the names like do not get me to lion but i'm just mixing that i did brush a little bit of um a mascara a brow gel into the brows um just to kind of lighten it as well like that has been my thing i am going to like i'm in the hunt for the perfect brow gel right now let me know if you guys use these types of things let me know what your favorite product is for brow gels I'm next for my base I am gonna go ahead and go in with the concealer instead just so that way I'm just using a different product and just showing you guys how to use what you got like if you don't have um, a good base you can always take a concealer or a foundation and that will do it for you to make the eyeshadows pop For my contour because I well for my bronzer I want to keep it like real bronze instead of contouring same thing same concept um, it's just difference in color so I am using my bronzer in the shade leader from morphe cosmetics and this is actually one of my favorite bronzers um, besides the um, beauty bakery And so next for the eyes, y'all, I did not know that I had like a uh, NYX like crown around the house. I thought I had threw it away. So I just kind of take what I had near me. Um, a lot of times I like to use like gel liner that works as a great base when you are trying to do a smoky eye. I used my um, NARS pencil, just something that I had because that's what I use for my liner in general. Um, it's great. Now I will say it's not the best as far as like blending. So it definitely took some blending out but it definitely did the job and so i then am going to go into my morphe palette take that black eyeshadow and we are going to pop that on top of the base um and to prep the face i like to add just a little bit of powder underneath the eyes sometimes a lot um this helps with taking that fallout and then that way your face and under eye is not black or whatever color you're using after taking that black shadow i then go in with a warm reddish brown shadow and I'm using that as my transition and this is going to help me blend and make sure that there's no um you know like no harsh lines girl Next, I'm taking a glitter base from NYX and I'm just packing that on the lid. And then I'm mixing some glitters. Um, now, I know one of the glitters that I am using is from Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics. Um, and I'm just popping that in the center of the lid. I just felt like I just needed a little bit of sparkle. Like, I ain't had none in my life in a while. And so I figured, you know, this was the perfect look. And you guys, I freaking loved it. I just felt like the look was not over so I did go ahead and add a highlight shade in the tear duct area I forgot what shade that I used I used like a shimmer out inside the um 
the Morphe palette, which is the James Charles. And then I also use a pigment from Makeup Is My Life Cosmetics. And then next, we are going to use the liner. Liner, you guys, I just used what I had. I was not going to go out and buy something just to try it. Um, so I am using my Old and Faithful NYX Matte um, Liquid Liner. And I noticed that sometimes it'll be cheaper on Ulta, and then sometimes it'll be cheaper on Amazon. I'm sure after this video, the price will go up because it tends to always go up, and it'll inflate and deflate. So... You just kind of have to check the pricing, um, but baby, I'm going to go ahead and order me two more while I can. I'm just taking a liner um, from NARS to do my bottom lash line, and then I'm going to add my mascara and pop on my lashes. Um, the lashes that I'm using are in CEO. Definitely check them out. Got a link down below for you guys uh, for my lash line. You guys will not be disappointed. Bam, y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? Oh, she cute. She, she real cute. So I'm then I'm going to go in and add a um, smoky eye, well, smoky lash line. And so I'm just taking that black, the same black that we used to top that lid. I just decided to put that on the lower lash line to smoke it out. I'm also going to mix it a little bit with the brown, but I do want that black to like be like, boom. Like, I need that smoky, sexy eye effect. I'm just pressing in the under eye powder, getting ready to sweep everything off. I did go ahead and add my face powder. Um, face powder that I'm using is from Makeup Forever. It is amazing. Definitely check it out if you have not. For those of you who have, let me know what you guys think of the powder. Now, after sweeping the powder away, I did want to go ahead and add some colors to the cheeks as well. And so for the contour, I needed a little bit more warmth um, for my bronzer. Um, and so I did go in with that same reddish brown eyeshadow that I used for my transition and I applied it to the face. I really have been loving this look lately. And then I'm also going to use like an orange eyeshadow from the same palette uh, and I'm using that as my blush color. I did not have any blushes from Morphe um, right now so I just wanted to kind of use what I got. And so I hope this kind of shows you guys like you can take whatever you have in your collection. You do not have to go out and buy whatever people show you all the time. Like, I promise you, you can make it do what it do, get you a nice palette, especially for beginners. Like, you just need one neutral to color palette, and that's going to, I promise you, that's going to make the world a difference. Um, for my highlight, I tried using an eyeshadow as well. It just wasn't giving me, you know, what I needed. Um, so, I did go in with the Ofra Cosmetics um, highlighter, and I just popped that right on top. And as you can see, baby, she was glowing. And so I'm just going in, adding a few coats of mascara on my lower lash line. And for the lips, I am taking um, a Morphe liner. I believe it's in Vibes, if I'm not mistaken. And then I'm going to go in with this lipstick. Um, I forgot the name of it, but I'll put it down below. It is also from them as well. I want like a nude sort of vibe. I just felt like, you know, with a smoky eye, you can never go wrong with a nude lip in general. But baby, this set it off. It, it really set the look off. Because I love... I just love gloss in general. I decided to go ahead and add a gloss. The gloss that I'm using is from my line MCD Luxury. It's in the shade Caramel. Um, I did mix it um, with a little bit of Sugar Baby. Um, as you'll see, it adds a little bit more shine. Um, Sugar Baby is one of our high shine glosses. And I am trying out a new applicator, which I love. And I'm just adding the finishing touches. I'm just adding a little bit more of that tear duct color just to make everything pop. 
um, and this is the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial I hope you guys find it helpful this is a great date night I would even wear it to brunch I just love me a good old smoky eye but yeah make sure you guys go ahead and like this video give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you have not and I will see y'all in my next video don't know